Okay. Okay. Hi guys. Um, we're going to be talking about neonatal isoerythrolysis, which I'm now going to condense into an eye. Uh, it is also known as John just full uh, syndrome, syndrome, which you'll see why later um, in the diagnostic stuff. Okay, so just a little introduction. Mostly what it is is just um, a disease that affects newborn foals within the first 30 to 40 hours of their life. Um, it's mostly caused by the ingestion of the mother's colostrum and that that colostrum to that foal is actually harmful. Um, which is a lot different than what you would think. Normally colostrum is made up of a bunch of nutrients, a bunch of antibodies, stuff that's supposed to help the foal build up its immune system and help it live um, in the first couple hours of its life. But with this disease, it's actually most detrimental to the foal. And I'll tell you more. Okay, so it's mostly caused by the inheriting of a different blood group than the mare. Um, usually when um, a stallion and mare, they breed, they make a child, uh, the child's getting to inherit either the mare or the stallion's blood group. Um, if you have just the mare's blood group inherited, then the foal's going to be fine. It won't think that it's born or anything. If the stallion and the mare happen to have the same blood group, that's also fine. Usually those cases never come up as um, NI whatsoever, but the trick is when the foal inherits the stallion's blood group. If it is foreign or different to the mother, the mare, um, the mare will start creating antibodies within that colostrum that will attack the foal's uh, blood group once it starts ingesting the colostrum from the mare when it is born. Um, most common blood groups are big A, little a, big Q, little a. Um, and so they're distributed, sorry, the slide is so small. Um, they're distributed from the mare to the foal uh, and from the stallion in rare cases. A deterrent would be breeding stallions and mares that are of the same blood group, which you could test for that, but that does become a little bit more expensive. So it's more easy to prevent um, or to treat than it is to um, try to test and pull money on that. And if you have different stallions and mares within your farm, they're all different blood groups and you know it's going to occur. Um, you also know if a mare has it once, um, it occurs with its foal once. If you breed that mare, there's a good chance it's going to happen again. Um, usually, once mares show that they can cause NI, uh, it happens pretty much with a lot of their foals. So the pathogenesis usually what happens within the last trimester, um, the colostrum starts getting formulated together, the antibodies and the, um, the nutrients and everything start getting formed. The mare's immune system will detect that there is a foreign antibody within, or a, a foreign blood group within the body, and it'll start creating the antibodies to attack it and kill it in order to get it out. Now, the reason why these antibodies that are formed do not already uh, kill the foal and cause a, a late-term abortion or anything is because these antibodies cannot pass the placental membrane. So they get to the membrane, they stop, they can't go through. So that would result in a very healthy birth, no abortions, like I said, and so the caretakers at that point usually wouldn't know that um, there is a problem with the colostrum, with the mare, with the foal. And so then the foal goes ahead and starts nursing. They don't stop it or anything because you're supposed to. Um, and it absorbs the antibodies. And then the, the foal's red blood cells will start getting attacked by those antibodies. So usually you'll start seeing um, mild or severe uh, signs depending on how long it is allowed to nurse. If you catch it pretty early on, it's pretty uh, mild signs. If you let it nurse the full colostrum time period, it could be um, could be fatal, could cause death. So usually you'll see within the first 24 to 72 hours. And the reason why it's called jaundice full symptom syndrome, sorry, good lord, um, is that so with the eyes, they start yelling, the whites around the eyes, um, the teeth and the gums start getting yellow too. And so that's one of the thing, one of the signs. And another one is um, they start becoming lethargic. They're weak. They don't really want to stand. Loss of appetite. They or they lose interest in um, drinking any colostrum whatsoever. Uh, and then increased respiratory rate and increased heart rate. And then you can treat it if you do find it. You can treat it. It does cost quite a lot of money. Um, you can do blood transfusions uh, with a matched 
donor um, to make sure you get uh, put in blood groups that are of the same of the mares um, so that the antibodies will stop attacking and we'll see that it's the same blood group. It's the same thing um, from the source. They said that you can do washed red blood cells from the mare. Um, so you just put those in and then it looks like the foal has the same blood group, antibodies stop attacking, um, then it becomes helpful. If you do have some of the mild cases, like I said, if you catch it pretty early on, um, you could do antibiotics and other medications. You could prevent if you do find it. Um, the One of the things before you could test, like I said, mares and stallions. Um, usually, like I said, does cost a little bit of money. So you would test, make sure they have the same blood group, um, or if they don't, or if you think it might be harmful, um, you just wouldn't breed them. Or if you have a mare and a stallion that you really do want to breed, you can test. And if they have um, different blood groups, then um, you could just prevent the foal from uh, feeding off the mare once it's born. Uh, you would just give it alternative milk solutions. So you can get colostrum from like tractor supply, um, do that. With that, you would have to um, make sure you do get the colostrum out of the mare during that time period until the mammary glands stop losing producing colostrum and it's just milk. Um, once that happens, you can allow the foal to um, drink off the mare as it pleases. After that, it doesn't uh, affect it. The only thing that affects it is the colostrum and um, that's what would cause these problems. So, and also another thing that you can do is like in the picture, um, you can put a little muzzle on it so they can stay in the stall with mom and um, not feel like it's being separated and um, it just won't be able to milk off of it. And yeah. There are my resources. Thanks for listening.